Timothy Allen Dick, known professionally as Tim Allen, is an American actor and comedian. He is known for playing Tim the Toolman Taylor on the ABC sitcom Home Improvement and Mike Baxter on the ABC slash Fox sitcom Last Man Standing. He voices Buzz Lightyear for the Toy Story franchise and played Scott Calvin and Santa Claus in the Santa Claus film trilogy. Allen's other films include Tropical Snow, Galaxy Quest, Joe Somebody, Zoom, Wild Hogs, The Six Wives of Henry Le Fay, Crazy on the Outside, Three Geezers, and El Camino Christmas. Early Life Allen was born in Denver, Colorado, to Martha Catherine, a community service worker, and Gerald M. Dick, a real estate agent. He is the third oldest of six children. Allen has two older brothers as well as two younger brothers and a younger sister. His father died in a car accident in November 1964, colliding with a drunk driver when Allen was 11. Two years later, his mother married her high school sweetheart, a business executive, and moved with her six children to Birmingham, Michigan, to be with her new husband and his three children. Allen has said the move meant going from being in a cool group at one school to being at the bottom. Allen attended C. Home High School in Birmingham, where he was in theater and music classes. He then attended Central Michigan University before transferring to Western Michigan University in 1974. At Western Michigan, Allen worked at the student radio station WIDR and received a Bachelor of Science degree in communications specializing in radio and television production in 1976 with a split minor in philosophy and design. In 1998, Western Michigan awarded Allen an honorary fine arts degree and the Distinguished Alumni Award. Career Allen started his career as a comedian in 1975. On a dare from one of his friends, he participated in a comedy night at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak, a suburb of Detroit. While in Detroit he began to get recognition appearing in local television commercials and appearing on cable comedy shows such as Gary Thyssen's Some Semblance of Sanity. Allen was arrested in 1978 and imprisoned for drug trafficking. Following his release from prison in 1981, he returned to comedy. He moved to Los Angeles and became a regular performer at the Comedy Store. He began to do stand-up appearances on late-night talk shows and specials on record and film. Despite his admitted limited acting range, Allen rose to fame in acting with the ABC sitcom Home Improvement produced for ABC by Wind Dancer Productions a company he co-founded with producer Carmen Finestra. Allen played the main character Tim the Toolman Taylor. In November 1994, he simultaneously starred in the highest-grossing film, topped the New York Times bestseller list with his book Don't Stand Too Close to a Naked Man, and appeared in the top-rated television series within the span of one week. Home Improvement ran until 1999, for which he was paid $1.25 million US dollars per episode. In 1995, Allen provided the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Disney-slash-Pixar blockbuster Toy Story. In 1997, he starred in the family comedy Jungle 2 Jungle from Disney. The next year he returned to voice Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story 2 which was a financial and critical hit. In 1999, he starred in the sci-fi parody Galaxy Quest alongside Sigourney Weaver, Alan Rickman, and Sam Rockwell. In 2002, he reprised his role as Scott Calvin in The Santa Claus 2. Two years later, he starred as Luther Crank in Christmas with the Cranks. In 2006, Zoom was released, starring Alan as Jack Shepard. The same year, he also starred in The Shaggy Dog and The Santa Claus 3. 2008 marked his first dramatic turn with a supporting role as an aging action film star in David Mamet's Red Belt. Allen began narrating the Pure Michigan television and radio commercials for the Travel Michigan Agency. These commercials can be seen and heard throughout the Midwest and began airing nationally in 2009. In December 2009, he started a preview tour of Crazy on the Outside, a film that debuted in January 2010. Allen accompanied the film, helping promote it with a series of stand-up acts beforehand. During the performances, he told audiences that he planned a 2010 comedy tour. Allen also directed the film, marking his film directorial debut. Allen hosted the 8th Annual TV Land Awards on April 25, 2010. That same year, he became the official voice of the Chevrolet Cruze, narrating commercials for the vehicle, and he became the voice of Campbell Soup's It's Amazing What Soup Can Do campaign. Allen returned at ABC with a sitcom Last Man Standing. 
He played the role of Mike Baxter, a conservative father fighting for his manhood in a house filled with women. The character is loosely based on his own life, as a Republican father of three girls. After six seasons, the show was canceled in May 2017. ABC Entertainment chief Channing Dungey denied claims of political bias against Allen, explaining that the network simply could not accommodate the program on their schedule. On May 11, 2018, Fox TV CEOs and chairman announced that Fox had officially picked up Last Man Standing for a seventh season. Shortly before the cancellation of Last Man Standing, Allen had been announced as part of the cast of the Netflix original comedy film El Camino Christmas. Personal Life Allen was raised as an Episcopalian. He married Laura Dybel on April 7, 1984. In December 1989, their daughter Catherine was born. He and Laura legally separated in 1999. Their divorce was finalized in 2003. Allen married actress Jane Heideck on October 7, 2006, in a small private ceremony in Grand Lake, Colorado. They had dated for five years. In March 2009, their daughter Elizabeth was born. On October 2, 1978, Allen was arrested in the Kalamazoo-slash-Battle Creek International Airport for possession of over 650 grams of cocaine. He subsequently pleaded guilty to felony drug trafficking charges and provided the names of other dealers in exchange for a sentence of three to seven years rather than a possible life imprisonment. He was paroled on June 12, 1981, after serving two years and four months in Federal Correctional Institution, Sandstone in Sandstone, Minnesota. In 1998, Allen was arrested for driving under the influence in Birmingham, Michigan. At the time, his blood alcohol content was 0.15, nearly double the legal limit in Michigan. He was sentenced to one-year probation and entered a rehabilitation clinic for alcohol abuse as part of his court obligation. Allen is a Republican. He endorsed Donald Trump in the 2016 presidential election. He was an outspoken critic of the participants storming the U.S. Capitol, describing the incident as horrible, embarrassing, and shameful and opining that the rioters must have had inside help. He said the riot had caused people to be embarrassed to be known as conservative. Allen is a car enthusiast and competed in endurance racing for Celine in a co-owned car in the 1990s, including the 24 Hours of Daytona.